Hello starlets, I'm Sarah from Everyday Starlet. Welcome to my channel. We're bringing a little bit of glamour to everyday life. Today I am talking about pore minimizing primers. This is kind of like a part two to my original primer video. In my original primer collection video, I actually didn't have very many primers. So now I'm testing a lot more, but most of these are geared towards minimizing pores. I've got oily skin, my pores can get really out of control. I'm actually thinking about doing a whole video on tips just in general to help minimize pores. If you want to see that, give the video a thumbs up. If you're not familiar with how I do these makeup collection videos, basically I pick a type of makeup, in this case it's going to be pore minimizing primers. I test a different one each day for however many days I have them and I'll actually show you applying it, I'll show you, give you my first impression and I'll also give you some updates throughout the day so you can see how each product worked on me side by side all in one video, kind of like an all in one review video. If you want to see my original primer video which has a few primers that I'll actually mention later in the video. I will leave that link to this one in the cards. So be sure you stay tuned to the end of the video to see my A-list and D-list primers. But if you want to see my primer collection and how everything works, then just keep watching. Okay, so today's primer is actually going to be a first impression. It's the It Bye Bye Pores Primer. It is oil-free, poreless, skin-perfecting serum primer. Developed with plastic surgeons, dermatologists, clinically tested, paraben-free, cruelty-free, oil-free, Directions. Apply over moisturizer into clean skin, either alone or underneath makeup, for complexion perfection. I'm sure I said that five times fast. You'll see it powerful results instantly and over time. It's a pump, which is nice. Comes out kind of looking a bit like a moisturizer. Now, I'm going to try with all of these poreless primers. I want to stay consistent. I'm going to use my Too Faced Born This Way foundation. I mean, my skin is a little bumpy. Um, it has been because I've been playing around with skincare products. I think it did a pretty good job of evening things out. I like the way my foundation applied over it. I am going to add a light layer of my RCMA No Color Powder. Just a dusting to keep things in place. Okay, so primer update. I'm a little shiny, but I was blowing my nose a lot today and my makeup doesn't feel like it's rubbed off. You can still see my pores, but I don't think that they're super obvious. I mean, I think it's definitely better than if I didn't wear primer. I didn't get a neck crease like I sometimes do. I like the way my skin felt with this on too. So I definitely think this is a contender. Okay, so today's pore minimizing primer is the Estee Edit Pore Vanishing Stick. It says here, Pore Vanishing Stick glides on for a fresh, natural, pore perfect look instantly. With a wave of this wand, pores are blurred, skin looks more even, shine looks shut down, and oil foiled. Cute. Helps your complexion look velvety smooth. Pretty close to perfection. It's easy. Apply on bare skin or before your makeup in the morning, then touch up as needed. I actually got this at Gen Beauty, so I'm just opening this now. Never used it before. Okay, that's interesting. It's kind of like a twist up kind of thing, and it's got like a colored center. I'm just gonna rub it on the back of my hand. Okay, I don't really have any idea how to use this. It Like, I read you the instructions, but um, I don't know. There's like a sharp place in mine. I don't know. I don't think that's supposed to be like that. I don't know. I guess that's just the packaging. I'm just gonna rub it on with my hands because I don't really know. I don't know what else to do. Okay, it definitely looks like it mattified my face. It does feel nice. I mean, applying it with the stick was a little weird. It does look like it mattified my face. I'm actually gonna put on the rest of my makeup, pretty much the same makeup as yesterday, Too Face Born This Way, the huge, and then I will check back in when I'm done, let you know how it looks. Okay, so let's take a look at my foundation. First, I was putting it on and I was like, I felt like my foundation looked more full coverage than it normally does. My skin does look very even, but I feel like up close, it doesn't look like as natural. Like the thing I love about the Too Faced Born This Way is that it's like full coverage, but it looks very natural. For some reason, and maybe this it's the lighting or I'm being too picky, but I just don't feel like it went on as natural. My skin has been having issues, so it's a little bumpy, but I don't 
know. And maybe I should have rubbed in the primer, like smoothed it in with a beauty blender before I put the rest of my makeup on. Maybe that would have made it go on easy, like more evenly, but I don't know. I'm kind of on the fence about this, but I'm gonna check in at the end of the day. We'll see how everything is holding up. Okay, so primer update. I've just been working all day and I've been blowing my nose a lot. So it's definitely worn off around my nose, but my nose feels redder than it usually is. I mean, it stayed okay, but my makeup doesn't look as natural as it usually does. And I'm not really crazy about how my skin feels. Like it doesn't feel greasy, but I don't know. I, I don't know if it's the primer, but I've worn this foundation like a million times and not usually had this problem. So I don't know. I'm thinking it's not my favorite. Okay, so today's primer is the Makeup Forever Step One Skin Equalizer Smoothing Primer. I have this little sample that I got from Gen Beauty. Gen Beauty, that's where I got it from. It comes out more like a neutral skin tone. Interesting. Okay, but it goes on pretty sheer. My skin does feel smooth. That smoothed it out, wow. My skin does feel really smooth. It applied very evenly. Like it just sort of almost like melted in my hands as it went over my face. I'm actually using a different foundation today. I will check back in after I finish my foundation, but I'm testing a foundation for another video. I, I am using a Makeup Forever foundation, so. We'll see how my pores are looking. Okay, so primer update. Again, I used a different foundation than usual. My skin does feel kind of red and a little irritated, but it was kind of feeling that way a little bit earlier. It felt nice, but I don't know. I don't know if it's my favorite. My skin looks shinier, I feel like, than normal. I don't, again, it's hard to tell because I really had to test another foundation, so it's not like an even comparison. And my skin was feel, feeling a little irritated beforehand, but I don't know. I'm, I'm not really a fan of the way my foundation applied. I do look really shiny and stuff. I don't know. It, it's not my favorite primer. Just gonna say. Hi guys, so I'm here in my bathroom instead of my makeup table because today's primer turned out to not be a primer at all. I actually read the directions and it turns out it's actually a skincare product, but it is supposed to be pore smoothing. So I thought I would include it in this pore minimizing primer video. This is actually from Bioderma. They actually sent this to me along with some other goodies that I'm trying out. And this is the Bioderma Pore Refiner. And I thought that this was a primer for your face. Turns out it's not. It actually is more of a skincare product that you basically rub on anywhere that you want to sort of cover your pores. Then you put your moisturizer on and then you put your makeup on. I have basically done all my skincare routine except for my moisturizer and sunscreen and I thought you know what I'm gonna put this on here and I'm kind of gonna concentrate this on my t-zone because that's where most of my pores are feels nice feels like a serum now it says you can use this alone or under moisturizer I would definitely need a moisturizer over this but I do think that it mattified down my skin quite nicely I'm gonna go in with my moisturizer and sunscreen my usual stuff and then I think I'm going to use my mineral veil primer before I put my makeup on just so I have like an official primer but I'm going to be judging it based on how well this works in my T-zone. So I'll check back in with you after I get my makeup on and we'll see how it's doing. Hey guys, so I wanted to give you a quick update. I finished my makeup and I don't know if it's because I used the Hourglass Veil Mineral Primer and I went back to using my Born This Way foundation, which I kind of missed not using yesterday when I was testing other foundations. So I don't know if it's the actual pore minimizer or not but I'm having a really good makeup day. My skin's looking nice. I'm checking it out. I'm like, I like this. So I don't know. I'm going to check in again at the end of the day. I'm happy with it so far. Okay. So primer update, technically not a primer, more of a skincare product, but I have to say when I did my makeup today, I hope I don't have food on my face. When I did my makeup today, I was like, it looks good. And I don't know if it's because of the mineral veil primer which is probably part of it but i really like this particular like pore refiner i like that it's kind of part of the, your skincare routine like just an additional thing so you can use another type of primer i really like it so technically not a primer but i think i'm definitely going to use it more my skin is a little shiny but not super shiny i think my pores look smoother than they usually do especially at the end of the day so so i like it i like it a lot 
Okay, so today's primer is actually a little sample, but it's the Benefit Professional. I've actually never used this one, which is odd because it's supposed to be the best. It is Pro Balm to minimize the appearance of pores. I was really excited to try this until I heard a review, I forget where, somebody said a lot of people have been breaking out from this. That makes me nervous. It comes out, it's kind of like a neutral color, more of like a nude, um, but it goes on pretty sheer. It feels nice on the skin, it's very smoothing. My skin is really bad right now, but it feels nice. So I'm gonna put on my usual foundation and we'll see, I'll check back in when everything's on and See how it looks. Hey guys, so I forgot to check in with you right after I got my makeup done. But as far as the primer goes, I like it. I don't know if I'm in love with it. My makeup, it could have just been me having an off day, but my makeup didn't feel like it went on quite as smoothly as it usually does. It felt, I don't know, a little bit more like I was just pushing my makeup around. Not terrible. I evened it out. It looked fine. My pores, you know, are less noticeable. I just don't know if it's my favorite primer. Good. And I guess it, it does even out pores, but just wasn't in love with the way my makeup applied over it. But I will still check in at the end of the day, let you know what's up. Okay, so primer update. I feel like this primer has been so hyped up. I mean, yeah, I do think my pores are minimized. I don't feel like my makeup went on quite as naturally as it usually does. I don't want to say it's bad. I am really paranoid about it too because I have heard... It makes people break out, so I'm a little nervous about that, using it long term. Good, I just, I don't think it's, it's not great. It's just okay. Okay, so today's primer is actually the Milani Prime Shield Face Primer Mattifying and Pore Minimizing Oil Free. I actually picked this up in my Everything Under $10 video that I did because I did not have a drugstore primer. So I used it in that video and I was actually pretty happy with it, I have to say. Yeah, it goes on really smoothly. It definitely, I don't know if there's silicone in it, I'm not exactly sure what the ingredients are, but it feels, yeah, dimethicone. It feels very silicone-y. I mean, I, I like the way it feels. I mean, I think it smooths everything out. My pores look minimized. So yeah, I'm gonna put on the rest of my makeup and then I will check back in with you when I'm done. Hey guys, so I finished my makeup and it went on really smoothly. So, you know, I think this primer works really well. If you're looking for a drugstore option and you want something that's like silicone, very smoothing, very mattifying, very pore minimizing, could be a good option for you. I will check in a little bit later in the day, let you know how my makeup held up. Hey guys, so primer update. It was okay. I think I'm shinier around my nose area than I normally would be. And I do feel like my makeup never really like settled into my skin if I felt like it kind of sat on top of my skin. So I do think this is a decent drugstore option if you, again, A, want a silicone primer, B, want one mattifying, and you really want one from the drugstore. I don't think it's gonna be my favorite primer though. Um, but it's definitely not bad. I mean, especially considering I like it better than a lot of other high-end primers. I do think my pores are slightly minimized, but I don't think it's stayed as mattifying as some of my other primers. All right, so another primer day, and today I'm trying the Bare Minerals Prime Time Foundation Primer. And I got this in my Gen Beauty gift bag. This says, Primed for Complexion Perfection. Experience your most flawless foundation experience ever. Primetime Original Foundation Primer smooths away dryness, the look of fine lines, excess oil, and large pores, and uneven texture. Our mineral-infused formula glides on seamlessly, helping to extend the wear of your foundation. Great for all skin types, formulated without preservatives, oils, and fragrances. Apply one pump for an even layer of this lightweight primer all over your face, less is more. Once dry, follow with Bare Minerals SPF 15 foundation. Well, I don't have that, so we're not gonna do that. It's in a pump. It almost looked like a spray bottle to me, I don't know. Oh, okay, it came out clear. My skin does definitely feels smoothed out. I do think my pores look a little bit minimized, but I'm gonna put on my foundation and then I'm gonna check in afterwards and we'll see how it looks. Hey guys, so quick update on my foundation and primer. I do think my pores are minimized. I've powdered, my skin still looks a little shinier than I expected it. My foundation went on nicely. My skin doesn't look like, you know, anything wowed. You know, it's just not bad. I'll keep you posted how it works throughout the day. So far, I'm, I'm liking it. I'm just, I'm not like wowed by how my skin looks. Okay, so primer update. I will say I've actually been doing a lot of cleaning today 
and my nose is running a lot so I was blowing my nose a lot so it wore off on my nose but it went through a lot of abuse to be this worn off so I don't want to judge it necessarily just based on that I did feel like my face it looked matte and it still does look quite matte especially for the end of the day my pores look very smooth but my face felt a little flat it did keep my skin uh, very matte. It did hold up pretty well. Overall, I think it held up pretty well based on the abuse that I put it through. And those were my primers. So, now comes the time for the A-list and the D-list. As far as D-list primers, I feel like I have to say this. If some of these that I thought were the worst are some of your favorites, there's a reason why there's so many products out there. It's because everything works a little bit differently on each person. I have to say my least favorite for one was the, the Estee Edit Pour Vanishing Stick. I don't know. I just didn't really like the way it applied. I don't know if I got a bad one, but there's like almost like a sharp spot in here. So when you like rub it on, it kind of like scratches your skin. That could just be mine. I don't know. I, I don't know. I, I didn't like the way my makeup sat over it. I, I don't know. I just wasn't a fan. As far as my favorite primers from this video, I still really liked the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Primer, which was the first one I tried in this video. I actually, I enjoyed it. I think I'm going to try this more often. I do have to say though that my skin was at its best when I used a combination of the Bioderma Pore Refiner, which is really more of a skincare product I discovered. So you use this kind of almost more like a serum and then I used my Hourglass Mineral Veil Primer over it. In my last video I tested a sample that I had of the Hourglass Mineral Veil and I was just kind of like meh. But I think I really just wanted to just kind of be meh about it because I didn't want to go out and buy the full size because it's expensive. It really is. But then I was gifted this when I went to Gen Beauty and so I've been using it more often. And I have to say like in this whole test my skin looked the absolute best when I used a combination of these two. I kind of got to go with these as like my top A-list with the IT Cosmetics kind of close behind. I also want to give a shout out in my last video I also tested the Too Faced Prime and Poreless Pure which at that time was my absolute favorite. I do really like this. I was surprised though to learn that even though it's for sensitive skin it has salicylic acid in it but I don't find it irritating on my skin and my skin gets irritated very easily. So if you have sensitive but acne prone skin this could be a really good option for you. If you have a pore minimizing primer or any other kind of primer that you love or that you hate, I really want to hear from you. I always love to hear your suggestions or your anti-suggestions, so please leave them in the comment section below. Love to hear from you. If you liked this video and found it helpful, please give it a big thumbs up. A while back, I was actually suffering from anxiety and depression, and I truly believe that beauty and makeup saved my life, and I believe it can save yours too. So if you want to join my Starlet Squad, be sure you hit that subscribe button. You can follow me on all my social media channels. The links will all be in the description box below, as well as links to all these primers that I've tried. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you join me next time.